welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul. Thank you all for all you wonderful subscribers out there, all those kind comments that you are sending me, and all the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If this is something you do enjoy, please hit the notification button. That way you are notified every time a new video is uploaded. So I am going to start off with the food and drink category. So I did pick up some of these uh, Kreider Premium White Chicken in a can. And I do, you know, it's, we do like this, um, like I said, for the buffalo dip and stuff. Um, but if you go to Walmart or even Target, they're like 98 cents. So I really should be picking these up over there. I did pick this up for while my son was with me on this trip, and this is the Cherry 7-Up. He enjoys these. Oops. I found these. These, oh, these are coming to work with me. The girls at work absolutely love these, and so do I. But I did find the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate. I couldn't find the milk chocolate for a while, but I did find them both. This is also a repeat buy, and these, we all like these here. These are really good, and as I said before, there's three bars in a pack, and this is the bar. I also picked these up for work, these pecan shortbread cookies. These are very comparable to the Keeblers. They are good. They're good with coffee. My son picked up this four pack of Juicy Juice, apple flavor. I picked up these Reese eggs. These are for Easter, of course. And the best buy date on this one is 12, 2022. They will be long gone before then. And these, this is a repeat buy. I really like these. And these are the milk chocolate sea salt caramel. They also come in dark chocolate. And this best buy date is January 8th, 2023. This is a repeat buy. We all like the peanut butter here. These are very comparable to the Girl Scout Cookies Tagalong. And of course, way, way, way less expensive. And I don't see the best by date on this one. Um, uh, uh, 11 01 22. Guess what? Eh, got a dud. <laughs> I picked these up again for my son. He really likes these. I'm usually pretty good about checking these expiration dates, but um, apparently I missed that one. Um, no, you didn't. It's 11 That's November. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's true. I'm thinking 11 21 but it's till March. <laughs> my son just corrected me. That's hysterical. Good thing he said something, because again, I would have thrown away good cookies. That's a shame. <laughs> I did pick these up too for him. Oh goodness, that's so funny. You guys probably caught on to that too. All right, so this one is Best Buy 1014 2022. So these are still good too. <laughs> oh goodness, and then the last pack of cookies are these Almanette cookies. I was telling the girls at work that I wanted to um, try these, and these are good till June 4th, 2022. So we'll, we'll give these a whirl. And then the, oh no, no, I have olives here. Olives, they're stuffed with minced pimentos. I love these olives. And this size is five ounces. I'm not sure if $1.25 is a good deal for that, but. This is a good size jar for me. 
And then the last food and item, it, a food, oh goodness, here we go. Food and drink item is this Powerade sports drink. And this one is 20 fluid ounces. It's, I know it's a better deal at the grocery store, but we were at Dollar Tree and my son picked it up, so. Okay, so that's it for food and drink. So now I will move on to other items. Um, this is a five piece paper cup set and um, I will be taking these to work. I like these. Uh, last time I think I bought the styrofoam ones. This time I got the paper ones. Can you move that back? I picked up this aloe and avocado yardly. I did buy this before. I really, really love the smell of this. So I did purchase more. I picked this up for work. It's just a small, two small screwdrivers, the Phillip and the flathead. And it also comes with a measuring tape. There's also a dual set like this that comes with a, um, a level, but I thought this would be better for work. So put that, bring it to work. And this is, I think, oh no, here's a little bit, little bit in the toy items. I did pick up this type of sensory toy. I'm probably going to put this in the Easter egg hunt um, prize giveaways. I picked up some of this grass. I needed this for um, a couple of little basket things that I'm making. So I just pick this up and I'll kind of mix it together. Then I did get these three. So I had picked up the unicorn um, pop keychains and I found these dinosaur ones in three different colors. There's the orange one, the blue one, and the green one. So I think these are very cute. Kids love these sensory toys. Kids of all ages and adults like these sensory toys. I picked up this patch for my husband. He's very patriotic. He loves flags, the American flag. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I'll ask him if he wants it on a jean jacket or one of his other jackets, but um, yeah, I'm sure he's going to be happy to get this. I picked this car coaster up for my son. He likes pineapples, so I just I picked this up because of the pineapple, and I don't think he has any of these in his car, so I do, and I really like them. I did find this sewing needle um, kit. It's an 18-piece. And I'm not much of a sewer. I can sew a button and, you know, sew a little bit. But I bought it for this one, this big one right here. I think that'll be good for crafts. So, we'll see. This doorknob, it's not a doorknob, actually. It's a knob for, I don't know, cabinet door or it's glass. It is absolutely gorgeous. On my Instagram, I took a picture of the whole box. There's a couple of different shapes. This was my favorite. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, some kind of DIY, but I really, uh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I did purchase another uh, waste basket. I want to make a, another hat like this right here. I want to make another one. It was fun. It was easy and... And I'm going to put a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit different, but I want to make another hat. My son, like I said, was with me and he wanted these. These are the mirrors. I'm trying not to put it in your face, but this one is shaped like a cloud. And then this one is shaped like a whale. These are very cute. They're framed in plastic. They're adorable though. Very cute. I did find this sign. Oh my goodness. So this was on my wish list. I've seen many people hauling this. I just 
think this is the funniest thing. Garden of Whedon. This is so funny. But I love it. I love it. And I found this Crabtree and Evelyn London Hair and Pink Magnolia Uplifting Body Lotion. I love this stuff. Dollar Tree had this brand in the smaller. It was like this color, I believe, the tube. And I really loved that stuff. And then I've seen a couple people hauling this and another. I'm not sure if it's a body wash or another lotion, but I really like this brand. And at Walmart, these sell for $7 to $10. So, But I really love this stuff. I was very happy to find it. I picked up... Where's the other one? Two of these um, bandana bibs by Angel of Mine. And these are newborn size. These are so cute. So cute. And here's the other dinosaur one. They had all different patterns, but I was looking for a boy. So I found those two in the boys. I found this... It was all alone, and it looks like it's for uh, breast cancer awareness, and it's a paracord uh, bracelet. But I really liked it. It was alone, and it screamed, Margo, take me home. So I did. I was looking for these two items also. These are on my wish. They were on my wish list. I got these for my mom and my sister. I'll send these to them. And it says, give it to God, give your worries to God. He will take them and make them, make them light. And inside there are different little prayers. On one side, they're written out for you. And on this side, you could write your own, put it in here and give it to God. Then this one is a little house and the same concept inside with the little prayers and then the blank side. And on this one it reads, blessed name, name your blessings and place them in here. In time, you will see that God has blessed you every day. Amen. So I, I was happy to see those. I picked up a couple of things for the outdoors. Spring is coming. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I actually want to use these for decorations for my Easter egg hunt. But these are the, let's see, Outdoor Fun Pinwheel. So it's made out of, kind of reminds me of like a, an umbrella material kind of. So they had this style and this style. And these two, obviously, they match in the color. And then they had them in this color, the pink and the purple and blue. So I was very happy to see those. When I was cashing out, the cashier said to me, Oh my goodness, my mom's dog loves those things. I, apparently the dog hurdles over them. <laughs> Okay, and I did find, let's see what they're calling these. These are just called baskets, but I think these are perfect for the refrigerator or shelving. We have shelving in like a like a pantry area, I guess we would call it, and it fits quite a bit. So if I could put cans and stuff in here, what I like is that you can see what's in there. So I did pick up five of these, I think. One, two, three, four. Yes, I picked up five of these all in this smoky gray. So I think that's going to work out good in the refrigerator and on the um, shelving. Maybe I'll go get more. We'll see. We'll see how, what I can put in these and how much that'll fill. How much? Oh, my goodness. How much <laughs> stuff I can actually put in there and organize and see if I do need more baskets. Okay, so I did pick up two more of these. I have an idea. I actually want to use these to um, finish a decoration that I had started. So I picked up two of them. And then I picked up some flowers 
for um, more DIYs and also I want to make a centerpiece out of some of these so I picked up two of these ones and these ones are being called oh they're lilies to Margo so <laughs> these ones are lilies these ones are calla lilies the blue this is absolutely gorgeous this color and then these ones are daffodils so these are all spring color um spring flowers easter flowers okay and the last item i purchased i'm so excited i found the rake end i had already hauled the metal rake end and the shovel and i also found the pole so if you guys are looking for the pole that goes with this rake and those other ends i just mentioned make sure you pick up the one that says gardens on it they sell other ones for mops and brooms but you want to make sure you grab the one that says gardens on it okay folks that is it for this dollar tree haul and let me get some prices for you so this haul it cost me $65 plus tax and had I gone to Walmart or anywhere else, it would have been around $191.35. And that's a difference of $126.35. And again, guys, that's why I love Dollar Tree. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye.